Hi, I'm Scott Shaw, President and CEO of Lincoln Educational Services, and I'm so happy to be part of the Somerville graduation. Uh, you all have achieved something which is really commendable. You've decided to improve yourselves by getting an education, and you stuck to it, and you have now graduated or are about to graduate. Very exciting, and I couldn't be more proud of all of you. I also have to recognize the fact that we're in a very difficult period of time here with COVID and your lives and all of our lives have been disrupted. But again, you stuck to it and you finished your education and now you're graduating. And that will set you up for a really good future, I believe, because life is gonna throw a lot of curveballs our way. And the fact that you stayed and were committed to your education proves to me and hopefully proves to you that you have grit and determination to be successful in life. So I wish you all the best and congratulations. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In case you don't know me, my name is Richard Vivier, and everybody at Lincoln calls me Mr. V. I would like to welcome you to the 2020 virtual graduation, the pandemic edition. I am happy to share this moment with you because 2020 has not had too many good moments to share with anyone. From lockdowns to cancellations of schools, sports, birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays. We at Lincoln Tech hope that this um, gives you something to smile about. It is my pleasure to introduce the Somerville campus president, Michelle McCarthy. Good afternoon. My name is Michelle McCarthy, and I'm very proud to be your campus president at Lincoln Technical Institute Somerville campus. Welcome to our 2020 virtual commencement ceremony. Well, grads, you made it here. Despite all of our 2020 challenges, and I want to congratulate each and every one of you. I'm sure for many of you, this moment would not have been possible without the love and support from your family and your friends. So grads, please make sure you thank the people who have been there all along throughout your journey. Many of us have worked in education for a long time. And we've had the privilege of meeting many women and men just like you that decide someday they want something different. And there's something different about you. When others decided to skip an interview at a school because they were having a bad day, you didn't. You came in. And when others decided that investing in education for themselves was too scary, you decided you would take that leap of faith. And when you saw someone that said, don't bother, you won't learn anything, you have too much to deal with, it can't be done, it's much too difficult, it's too long, it's too far, too much work, you didn't just talk about it, you did it. And we all know it wasn't easy. For some of you, prior to Lincoln, your education may not have been smooth. Maybe you made some mistakes along the way. Maybe you took a little bit longer to come around, but you did it. You stopped talking about it and you made it happen for yourself. You decided not to listen to negativity. It wasn't easy. It was difficult. You sacrificed and so did your families. You stayed up late and you still made it to class and here you are. You're the image of success and triumph through obstacles. You made it happen. You were meant to be successful. You were meant to be better than who you were then. And you were meant to be part of our Lincoln family. Now, as you go out into the world, I'd like to share a few lessons that have helped me along my own personal journey. Be humble when necessary and confident when you're sure. Follow your heart. Most days, it's going to lead you in the right direction. And don't let fear stop you from trying. Most of the time, you're going to end up surprising yourself. Work really hard. Don't be lazy. But at the end of a long week, remember to have some fun. And try to find a balance between family and your career. It's harder than it looks. Be passionate 
and never ever stop learning. And tell your story of how hard work turned into the same success and inspire others to do it. Now that you are all Lincoln alumni, keep in touch and let us know how you are doing. Let us celebrate your promotions, your continued education, and your growing families. If you need help next month, next year, or five years from now, reach out. You're all an absolute inspiration to each and every one of the staff and faculty here at Lincoln Somerville campus. This is who you are meant to be. Now go out and be it. Again, congratulations. Continue to make us and yourself proud. Now, to provide a few words of wisdom, please welcome Stacy Andrade, our Director of Education. Welcome to Lincoln Tech Somerville's first virtual graduation made especially for you. My name is Stacy Andrade and I am the Director of Education here at Lincoln Tech. This is a joyous time for you, our students, and for your families. I am happy to join you in making this achievement and commending you and celebrating with you today. Each of you has traveled a different road to get to this moment. This is what makes this collective celebration and acknowledgement of your work so special. No matter who you are as a person, how you identify, where you come from, or what obstacles you needed to overcome to complete your program, you are here now with your peers to mark the end of this chapter of your education and training and receive your diploma. This moment is not only shared experience that we have together. This year we have all come up against the realization that life is precious and can be fleeting. None of us could have predicted the extent to which COVID-19 would impact our daily lives. For so many of us, this pandemic and all of its consequences was one more obstacle that we were presented with that very well could have buried us. Many of us are still struggling and I hope that all of us are able to take things day by day and keep pushing through as we look to come out the other side. This reminds me of a story from a pastor named Solrexius in Iowa of a farmer that plants a seed the farmer buries the seed in a mound of dirt. Think of all the issues, problems, and obstacles that present themselves to us as the dirt. Is the seed buried? Can we feel buried by all of our burdens? The short answer is yes, but all that occurs to us helps shape who we are and helps us become the person that we are meant to be. So as you think about this, I say to you, do not allow yourselves to be buried. Instead, choose to be planted and grow into the person that you are meant to be. I also take the time now to push the idea that I hope that this is only the first step for you in your education and training. I urge you to continue to work, to continue to develop yourselves, to continue to reach higher, when and if you have any doubts about what you think you can achieve, think back to today and remember that you did not stop. You kept working and you met your goal of graduating from Lincoln Technical Institute. I will leave you with a quote from Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference. Congratulations, class of 2020. Job well done. Good afternoon, grads. My name is Charles White, and I am proud to tell you that I am a Lincoln Tech graduate. I came to Lincoln Tech uncertain of my future. I had no idea which way I wanted to turn, but I made a decision. Coming here, propelled me to a career that is amazing today. And I can tell you that you can do the same thing. Walking across the stage was the proudest moment of my life. And to be truthful with you, it is the only stage that I ever walked across where my family was there to witness it. It was hard, the journey, in the beginning. Each day proved to me that I could do something better than I did uh, the day prior. I'm sure that all of you all 
went through the same uncertainty, was confused about what the future might bring. But just like I did, I pushed through. When I graduated from Lincoln Tech, I went on an externship. That externship was at Tufts Medical Center. And within five days, I was hired on that job. Unbeknown to them, I was actually a student. That was the type of determination that I put into the workforce as a Lincoln Tech graduate. From that point on, I became a clinical practice coordinator, and the rest is history. I went on to manage the hematology oncology department, as well as several other departments. One day I got a phone call to come back to the school and they said the job was open and I took it. It is stories like this and roads like this that were so open to me and they could be open to you too as a graduate. Do not allow your past, your friends, or your family to stunt that growth. Do not allow people to tell you what you can't do. You've already proved it by crossing this stage. 2020 has proven to be uh, a, a really new, uh, unique year or time period in a lot of our lives. We have the pandemic, which everyone prior to me has spoken about. We had to learn how to learn differently. We had to learn how to be self-motivated differently. In the face of all of this adversity, you all were able to do just that and to meet your day and to have your day. Moving forward, let's continue to have that same motivation that same drive, that same desire to succeed. And when you get out there in the workplace, let people know that you graduated from Lincoln Tech. Show them the skills that you were taught right here on this campus and be a factor. Remember the first thing when you get to the job, you are an advocate for the patient. And being an advocate for the patient, they will know that somebody cares for them. Thank you and have a great day.
Congratulations, Congratulations graduates! graduates.